Hi everyone. Welcome. So today I've summoned these two succulents. Um, I want to look into them because I feel like they just haven't been really doing well. Um, this is uh, Echeveria Madiba. I'm actually sitting down right now and I'm not sure if I'm focusing <laughs> the camera correctly. But yeah. Um, so this is a Echeveria Madiba, and I've had it had I've had it in this pot since June. So I mean, I guess it hasn't been that long, but since then it was much bigger than this when I first received it. But since then, um, I feel like it just hasn't really been doing anything. So it it is almost the end of September right now. It's been three months. So I really don't know why it it's hasn't really i mean dropped a bunch of the bottom leaves and the ends like you can see the 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 most the bottom layers of the leaves are very like wrinkly and folded in half um i don't think it's supposed to look like that i've seen many pictures of medivas and they have like these triangular um leaves but none of them look like this. This just looks like it's just about to die. It's like all dried up. I really just need to just look into it. I'm gonna, hopefully it's not a pest issue. Um, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can dig it out and see what's going on in here. Uh, Loosen up the soil. I don't remember when was the last time I watered this, but it looks like the soil is really dry. And this is a bunch of like soil that I mixed in. I had purchased like different size gravel, thinking, okay, maybe I'll try a different size, smaller size gravel. And I don't know. I don't know if that was the issue. I don't think that was the issue, but let's see. I'm getting that on the camera. Okay. Um. Strangely, it. I don't know what the issue is. There is no issue. <laughs> this is. This is. I mean, I'm looking in the pot. I don't see any kind of mm, pests or anything. Like anything creepy crawly in there. No, no mealybugs, no white residue, pottery residue, nothing. Um, I feel like, look, I feel like it did great with the roots. I mean, all, look at all these white roots. What is the problem, Madiba? <laughs> what is your problem? I actually don't know. Mm. Oh, huh. Um, so I feel like. Sometimes they say that if, if your succulent is not responding to water after you've watered it, uh, you should really just soak it. At this point, um, as you can see, the older roots are like these, like they're brown, right? The dark, I mean, it's in there, I don't know, yeah. All the white roots are new roots. So it's like, it put out a lot of new roots. So I really don't know what's going on with you. Okay, I'm just gonna, hmm, I guess I'm gonna pot it back in here, or maybe I should use a smaller pot. Maybe I'll use one of these little, ooh, that's cute, right? Maybe I'll get a, a, give it a smaller home. Let's try that. Let's try that and see how that does, because Clearly, it can't be any any worse than what it was uh, going on there before. So, okay. So the Madiba, I was I looked up some information on the Madiba, um, if I could remember. So, oh yes, I have notes. <laughs> I usually take notes of every succulent that I I buy, and if I could remember half the information that I that I have going on here then I would um one second just have a lot of stuff going on in my potting bench 
and hard to concentrate. Um, but yes, the Mediba, it, it is also a hybrid. Um, they don't really know the, uh, know where it originated other than the fact that, I mean, the information I found that it was, um, like created, I guess, in the nursery of Paco Serrano, Serrano, Paco Serrano in, Sp in, the, in Spain. Um, I don't know how they know that information, but they don't know, um, you know what the, the the parentage information so all i know that it is a hybrid um but just no specific information as to who, who the parents are um so apparently but they do have that information apparently this uh succulent was named in honor of nelson mandela because um he uh, uh, went, also went by the name madiba so it had that information, but just not the parentage information. But anyhow, this uh, succulent is supposed to be slow growing. Um, as I mentioned, the leaves are like triangular, and there's and they have these like pointy tips, red pointy tips, and you can see the color is in. I think when I purchased it, the color was already it was already colored. Um, I can try to pop in a picture. I just, I can't. I have so many succulents at this point. I just can't remember every single one of them. But yeah, so, uh, so technically these are supposed, these leaves are not supposed to be folded in like this. They're, they're all the ones that I've seen. They're flat and they're fleshy, uh, a lot more fleshy -er than the one you're seeing right now <laughs> over here. Um, and, uh, these can get, um, as, Apparently, they start out straight. The leaves start out straight, and as it gets older, the uh, the frills come in. Um, I feel like this already has some frills, but it might just appear that way because it's just super dry. I don't think it's because um, it's like uh, it's mature because it says uh, like it can take up to you know two years. They start developing the the wavy. Uh, margins after two years i i mean i guess this could have been two years old and uh, as i mentioned when i pot initially potted it, it was much bigger but it dropped all the lower leaves so i guess it could be more than two years old i have no idea but hopefully after i do um repot uh hopefully it'll 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 bounce back. I, uh, I really don't know what, what happened to this little guy. Um, this batch of soil that I, I mixed in has, um, some calcium powder in it. And I think I did, like, put in more, um, earthworm castings. That's supposed to be really good for succulents. Um, I guess you can use fertilizers, but I've like read and heard that fertilizers are just kind of dangerous when it comes to succulents because you fertilize at the wrong time and you, uh, succulents can end up being getting really leggy because of like it being overly, um, I guess overly, uh, uh, what, what, how do you call it? Um, too much nutrients, so then they end up um getting super tall and uh i at least i don't think uh madibas are known to get um a stem i haven't i feel like i haven't seen any of them with stems i've seen a lot of pictures of like um madibas in in a cluster with a lot of like um babies but other than that i yeah so these apparently can get up to 12 inches uh, wide, the rosettes, each rosette. And I don't know if you guys ever seen, but I've seen like some foreign channels with like frilly, I think it might have been the, the crispy beauty, but also the medibas, they get like really big. Um, I've seen them like the size of a bigger than a, bigger than a, a, a basketball. So. 
I, um, I mean, here I'm reading that it's, it can grow up to be 12 inches. So we'll see about that. Um, so here it is all done in this cute two inch clay pot. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to soak it. I'm going to soak it in water because now that I see that it has all these like great, a lot of good, healthy white roots, I really don't understand. I feel like I've soaked it before, but maybe I just, uh, maybe the problem was that I just didn't soak it long enough. Um, I've seen in other channels of people who have problems uh, with succulents that just not responding to water. They've, you know, soaked these succulents overnight. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to try that this time. Maybe that's what, you know, that's what it takes to bring this beauty back to life. So. I took the advice of some of the channels that I follow and I um, sort of left it in this container with water overnight just so that it can slowly soak up um, the water and look what happened. Amazing. I just, I had to record it. I will um, edit and put it together with the, the repotting video, but isn't it amazing? It just, I'm just baffled. I mean, as I mentioned, I'm filming it with uh, succulents, but um, I thought this was, uh, surely I thought I wasn't going to make it, and I definitely didn't think that it would open up like this, but look at the leaves. Um, I think it still needs more water, so I'm going to keep it in here, because I have heard in those channels that some people just keep it, especially the ones um, that just can't respond to water. Sometimes they keep it in the it's sitting in water like this for even a couple of days. So I'm going to try a little bit longer. Um, it was sitting in the water for overnight. Um, I'll just maybe till the end of the day, I'll keep it um, sitting in here. So we'll see how it goes. It's looking great already. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now.